Karma Yoga As we saw earlier, the word karma means action. Not just physical action, but also speech and thought. Karma can also mean the fruits of the action. Yoga literally means union or joining. It also means proper attitude. Karma can be divided into three broad categories. First, improper actions that benefit the doer while harming others. Tamasic karma. Example, stealing, cheating, etc. These actions are prohibited. Second, proper actions that benefit the doer, called rajasic karma. This type of action can be classified as benefit-motivated action or sakama karma, since the action is done for personal gain. Example, our jobs to earn money, exercise, etc. The third category is called sattvic karma, describing proper actions that benefit not just the doer, but others as well. They are non-benefit motivated actions, or nishkama karma. Example, volunteering, donations, etc. The scriptures prescribe five sattvic actions as mandatory for anyone seeking salvation. Why? All sattvic actions contribute primarily towards inner spiritual growth, promoting progress on the Vedantic path. They are not targeted towards visible material growth. The five sattvic actions prescribed by the Vedas, also called Pancha Mahayagna, are as follows. Worship of God in any form, Deva Yagna. This can be a physical worship at a temple or mental worship at a quiet corner wherever you are. What is important is that you devote your time and thoughts to the object of worship. Worship of Ancestors Pitruyagna This includes your parents. If they are alive, treat them with respect daily. Remember your ancestors who have passed away. Worship of the Vedas and sages Brahma Yajna. They have brought this knowledge to you. Worship of humankind, Manushya Yajna. Any service to humanity in any scale, like helping someone carry groceries to their car or volunteering at a food kitchen. Worship of any living being, Bhuta Yajna. Respect towards life. Vegetarianism falls into this category. Killing elephants for their tusks or rhinos for their horns directly contradicts this. The next type of karma, Rajasik karma, primarily contributes towards material growth and less towards spiritual growth. It is important to note that there is nothing wrong with Rajasik karma. The Vedas themselves prescribe many rituals for material benefit alone. Many of our actions fall in this category. Our jobs to earn money, exercise, or any action for material growth. The third type of karma, tamasic karma, negates spiritual growth and is forbidden. Anything that harms others for personal gain, like stealing, cheating, criminal activity, fall into this category. In summary, for your spiritual growth, increase sattvic karma and avoid tamasic karma. Now let's talk about the yoga in karma yoga. It means doing the action with the proper attitude. What does proper attitude mean? It means mental balance or samatvam. 
you are more productive and make better decisions in a calm mental state. Your efficiency and work quality decrease if you are disturbed. By this argument, Karma Yoga means performing the actions to the best of your ability with mental balance. Mental balance or Samatvam means the following. Acceptance It is natural that we like to do certain things and dislike doing others. Taxes, anyone? Learn to accept all actions and the result of all actions. Non-comparison We tend to accept our results but get upset when someone else gets better results. This can be as simple as when the queue you are standing in moves slower than another queue. Avoid comparisons to others. Humility It is through God's grace that we are successful. Do not succumb to vanity. Devotion One effective technique is to perform all actions as offerings to God. This will make you produce the best actions and allow you to accept the result as God's gift. Just as land needs to be prepared and tilled for the seeds to produce strong plants, Karma Yoga conditions and prepares the mind for the next step of the journey by making it spiritually competent. The four benefits can be summarized by the four Ds. Discrimination The ability to distinguish between the temporary and permanent, between the real and unreal, between what's important and what's not. Dispassion Reduced importance or detachment from physical sense objects. Discipline Mind and sense control Increased introspection, forbearance, faith, and concentration. Desire, intense desire for salvation to move forward in this spiritual path. It is not enough to desire salvation. One must become qualified to achieve it. Karma Yoga is the way to achieve spiritual competence.